So <clears throat> Scorpio season is upon us, but first we have a transitional period known as a cusp. For you cuspers out there that were born in between two signs, um, you're not fully one of those signs. Yes, your, your sun can only be in one sign, but you get kind of the best of both worlds in a sense that you share traits with both of that sign, both of the signs um, of which you're in a cusp, you know. So, for instance, I'm 29 degrees Leo, but I was born on the cusp of Leo Virgo. So I have Virgoan qualities, too, in my sun sign. So, um, so for you guys out there that are born between Libra and Scorpio, um, it's a very, very interesting combination. So love is the key for that. Um, love is is probably the biggest component of that combination because you take Libra, which stands for relationships, more in a societal aspect, more in terms of like marriage and stability and um, also in confidence and appearances. Um, all of that is kind of the beauty of a Libra. And you take a Scorpio, which is deep passion, um, extremes, it's ups and downs, it's a roller coaster, um, it's, you know, a hurricane, um, it's, you know, all of that, but all that passion ignites something in love, you know. Um, water signs can be very, very romantic um, because they're able to get so deep and personal with people on a, a subconscious level something that's you know what I mean so why I say it's interesting is that Libra is um, face value it's not really a deep love um, Libra is more of a, a surface level um, it's more of the sandbar love and Scorpio is at the bottom of the ocean um, it is the, you know, it's still down there with the Titanic. That's how deep it is. Um, and yes, it's hard to get there. Um, but it's like you can relive all of that magic, you know, when you do. Um, and so you have, you have air, which is all the way up here, and water, which is constantly um, churning out more and more feelings, which air signs don't express readily. Um, air signs aren't very emotional beings and water is emotion um, so you have people that are vibrate on a very high level Libras um, which are air so they keep things light and very positive um, and you know they're really looking to further the future to build something that's lasting they're very eco-friendly um, you know um, very very helping helpful um, they're very altruistic and then you have Scorpio which is um, it's basically you pull back all the layers all the skin all the organs and you're left with bare bones skeleton your skeletal structure you know your blood you know what makes you boil what makes you tick they're gonna find that out they're gonna know exactly how to get through to you and how to tick you off, you know, and, um, and it's also, it's a very isolating presence too, because Scorpio is just so, um, it's just so, it just wears at you, you know, it's just so hard to, maintain that energy um, and that's why they have these extremes ups and downs is because there's just so much within them there's so much raw stuff that's surface level and um, so naturally it's going to affect the people around them as well as themselves um, so in that sense we have to give Scorpio some credit um, because obviously their inner world is so intense that you know we can't relate to that especially if you're a Libra, you can't relate to that. Um, that's just totally against who you are. And, um, you know, Scorpio is just, is only interested in the serious stuff. They're not going to commit to something that, um, you know, is, um, 
a little more shallow in a sense. And, you know, with Libra, they're not going to commit to something that, um, that can't put on a good face or that can't be sociable when it needs to be. So it's a very interesting, you know, like we have some similarities. Obviously, any signs that come next to each other have some similarities that carry over into the next sign. But here, our air and water um, is a very strange mixture. Um, but they do both look for a sense of security. I think they do have that in common. And in a relationship, they can find that because Scorpio is attracted to Taurus. You're, you know, you're attracted to your natal opposite. And Taurus is, is very um, in control and very stable, um, being fixed earth. I mean, they wouldn't move as hard as you try to push them. Um, so that's it's very, very fulfilling when there's that Scorpio Taurus love because it's very grounding for that Scorpio and um, the Taurus can appreciate the amount of depth that the Scorpio has um, and then for a Libra a Libra keeps things light too in love because it's an Aries so it's a very social oriented sign it's very childlike playful um, it's not super responsible but that's where the Libra can step in and kind of stabilize you know their mate or their partner um, and so, and, and at the same time, they still get to have fun all the time because Libras and fun are always just, <laughs> you find the two together. So, um, the party doesn't stop, but what was I saying? Uh, it's just, it's a, and it, it's a very interesting mixture because, um, I believe that, what's his name? Um, John Krasinski is a Libra Scorpio. And he's a son in Libra, um, but just think of his character Jim as kind of a representation of that. Um, usually actors do play a part of their own personality in their performances, and he is quite the prankster. He's always poking fun at other people. That's very Scorpio. Um, and, you know, he it, it never stops, you know. Um, and I think when... Pam starts to peel back the real layers of him and everything. There's a lot of, um, um, he is a very isolated individual. You know what I mean? Like there's a very private nature to him and that's very Scorpio. Um, and the Libra side of him is the one that's entertaining. That's kind of always getting noticed. Um, you know, that professional side when he starts the career and everything and, um, and then keeping together their marriage. Their marriage is like the whole, the backbone of the series in a way. Um, you know, and it keeps you watching, you know, because that's the thing that's always, you know, rising. You know, it's getting deeper and deeper as we go. Um, and so that's a really good kind of character to see because he struggles with being... Um, he struggles with being helpful while also being self-aware, you know, like he needs, he knows he needs to do things for himself, um, is more the Scorpio, but the Libra is just wanting to help people again and again, um, wanting to be there and to just, you know what I mean? Just keep it lively, keep the laughs coming and keep it fun, entertaining. Um, and yeah, you can see that, you know, in the way he approaches, um, Pam and everything and like he's just he's very playful and she took that at first as it being more of a friendship you know what I mean um but then I think that sh she ends up seeing kind of the the deeper aspects of his personality um as the show progresses and that he's not somebody that's just going to give up easily um and that's the Scorpio that's the fixed nature you know once they set their target or something there's no there's no backing down. Um, you love or hate the fixed signs for that reason, um, but they are extremely stubborn and but very focused. So they can actually accomplish a lot, but instead of a lot of things, it's going to be one or two really big things that they'll work towards. Um, and then the Libra is just kind of all over the place. It's not controlled energy. It's air. You can't catch it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a really, really different modality um when you combine the two but um i think for the most part you know you could see 
just lots of romance blossoming. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there are a lot of actors, other than him, obviously, that are Libra Scorpios. Um, I think it's called the cusp of... Um, drama and criticism. So, which I think both of those signs have them both. Um, we don't readily see a super critical nature in Libra, but it does come out. I find that they often like will correct your grammar or something or um, it does carry over from Virgo for sure. But it's just not as apparent. It's more for people that like truly know them. It comes out a little more often. And then Scorpio is extremely critical. So, um, okay, so Knight of Pentacles. So um, with the Libra Scorpio energy, um, you guys are really on that mission for stability. Like I was saying, you're looking for something that's more secure. Um, whether it's love, um, you will find a mate that is financially successful or stable in that sense. Um, so you guys have the potential to attract um, some wealthy admirers. Um, and maybe, you know, the focus is on the job too. Like where can this job take you? Um, you've got a specific mission or you're looking for a specific thing in a career. Um, so you kind of have some sort of roadmap as to how to get to where you want to go. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you achieve it, but the mission is always getting there, you know? Feeling more stable, more secure, more in control. Seems like what it's what it's showing. So, um, Ace of Swords, you guys are very, very um, intense competitors. Um, you don't back down from a challenge. Um, you know, victory is constant, so you're very sharp. You're very, um, like I was saying, critical, but this is more so you're really good with your words and the way your mind thinks. Um, people can't get the best of you in that sense. Um, and you know what I mean? Like, um, in an intellectual level, you guys, you know, have a lot going for you. Um, because we take air and then we, we amplify it with the Scorpio energy. So, um, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's making it even, oh yeah, lots of victory. Okay, so you guys have a penchant for success. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like you go out to find something and you find it. You, you, once you set your goal or your target, you get it. And it almost looks like the universe wants you to find it. You know, the universe has your back in a sense um, because maybe it knows that you need some sort of stability. Um, but that's really cool. Like, you know, there's something, a bigger force that's kind of like helping you along in a sense. Um, and so that means that even if you are defeated in some way, you'll get back up pretty easily um, because maybe you're seeking recognition, maybe you're seeking praise. Um, whether you do or not, you, you will find it. You will find um, admiration trophies, awards, all of that. Um, it looks really good. So you guys really, um, you, you don't, it doesn't seem like you, um, back down from a challenge and you usually come out ahead. So pretty fierce competitors. Libra Scorpios. The night could mean that you are in defense of something. Um, so maybe that's where your best victories come out is when you are fighting for someone else that can't, you know what I mean? Or you're defending your own possessions, your own money, your status, whatever that is, that's where you'll find victory. Um, now, that's interesting. Maybe maybe, 
maybe you guys find victory, but someone still gets away with something. They manage to sneak out, sneak away with something of yours. Um, maybe you're so concerned with making sure that it looks like you've won, but you haven't fully. Because there's a, a sneaky, possibly smarter individual that you'll find time and time again um, that doesn't um, doesn't have the best intentions for you. Um, you know, maybe you're kind of surrounded by not higher mind, but a little more manipulative personalities um, that can work around you and you not notice. So, but that's okay because it looks like you you guys still come out on top because. You, having that Scorpio energy, are open to transformation. And that's nice to see because Libras, um, I wouldn't say, are as transformative. With that Capricorn in the fourth, they really like, emotionally, I don't feel like they really ever change. Um, so that's it's good to have some of that Scorpio, you know, possibility to, to kind of be reborn. Yes, it is destructive nature, but ultimately it gives you a new slate each time. So, um that's really nice. So in, in your battles, um, yeah, I mean, this could almost be like this person that really gets close to you, um, really takes everything from you as well. Maybe you guys are a little too trusting. It's hard to pinpoint which sign, you know what I mean? But Scorpios are very analytical, and I feel like they know when something's up. Um, but I don't, I'm not so sure a Libra would in a deeper sense, you know? Um, so maybe that's we're a little too trusting of the people we pick battles with, or we underestimate them. Um, so I would be a little cautious with that because you don't, you want to be careful with who you choose a battle with, obviously, um, because they could, they could do some damage. But again, that's a very transformative picture. It's like out of defeat, you can find a new path, a new victory. Um, the sun will eventually rise again. Um, so it, it opens up a new chapter for you. The only problem is when it comes to making a decision, um, you guys take forever, forever. I mean, we just got the Taurus card too. So it's like forever when it comes to decision making. And this is the fixed energy I was talking about. So, um, if you come, if you always see pros and cons to stuff, which is Libra, just think of Jim and how it took him so long to make a decision in that one episode. And he's like, Maybe we should make another pros and cons list. And Dwight's like, no, or, or maybe it was Michael. And they were just so, you know, it was so ridiculous to them. Um, but he just wanted to make sure it was perfect. And I think you guys get a little paralyzed because you are so afraid of picking the wrong thing. And that's understandable. Decisions are hard. But um, I think it's more because you stop seeing when you're forced to make a decision um, things get a little clouded. So you have a hard time seeing what what you already know or what you already know you need to do when you're backed into a corner. And this could mean a lot of times in relationships because the two is kind of a relationship number um, that I have found through tarot. And so when it comes to the mind, um, maybe that's this energy present. Maybe you get a little too close to somebody that's not really as committed as you are or really is looking for the long run or to transform with you, and they actually defeat you. You know what I mean? Um, not that they defeat you, but they get away with something um, maybe time and time again because you just kind of want to look good with that person. That's the Libra, and you're just really you're unsettled by it and you still question as whether stay or not. Like even though it seems pretty apparent that 
um, that situation or whatever just isn't in your benefit, you know, um, Taurus. But you guys are very devoted. You're very faithful. Um, you know, you guys are kind of like, I mean, if you're involved in a religious sense or aspect or a teacher of some kind, um, you know, professor, something like that, some kind of advisor, um, but it's more on like a spiritual level, like a guru or a shaman or something like that. Um, so, but that's good. I mean, you, you keep the faith, you hold the faith. If you have Taurus energy, um, in your chart too, that's possible, but this could be talking about the lover. Um, and that, again, that, that brings you that stability. Um, so it's natural for you guys to be attracted to a Taurus sign. But it just could mean that you guys have a lot of answers, you know? I mean, combine the air with, like, the Scorpio's penchant for investigating and finding out things. I mean, that's a powerful combination. It's just... Um, it's just, like, it'll go as far as you want it to. Well, lots of swords here. So the air really shows... And I think because Scorpios have so many battles, so much conflict, um, that that's showing a lot here too. And you guys can really be um, very lavish lovers. You really love the finer things, um, especially with a Taurus sign that maybe will provide that for you. Um, but in love, you really bloom. And that's what this card is. You know, in love, you're very nurturing. Um, you're kind of like a mother almost. So if you're finding yourself with the Aries Taurus, yes, they come first. So they are more childlike. Um, and you guys can kind of, um, can kind of nurture that, that sense of them. And then that's, you know, that's very fulfilling for them. Um, so what looked like victory before looks like defeat. Like you guys fall on your swords time and time again. And I almost, almost wonder if there's a reason why you're doing it. Because it's like the universe gives you this opportunity, this, um, this epitome, you know, like um, this way to win. And I don't know if you guys just like aren't realizing it or um, you just want it to appear that you've won when really you haven't. And I think it's almost like you're your own worst enemy in a sense like um, when it's just you and your thoughts, um, it's not healthy, you know, you don't do well when you're in your feelings or when you're in your mind. Um, it's, yeah. So I almost think partnership is a really good thing for you guys because that gives you, you know, more support, more emotional stability, and it gives you somebody else to encourage and advise and to love and to put that work into. So I think for your guys' sake, like, um, it may not be great to do it alone. Yeah, and it's almost like, um, I mean, maybe you just can't relax. You can't sleep, you can't rest. Um, you're just always on the move, you know? And it's because you can't sit still um, that you, you bring on problems for yourself. Lots of movement when we see swords. Um, but the majority here is reversed. And if you can't see what the universe is trying to hand you, um, I mean, then it's just like you're only hurting yourself time and time again. 
because I think the universe is, is letting you win almost or giving you the opportunity to win because you have bigger things, bigger fish to fry down the road. Um, but you guys just like, you don't see it for what it is almost. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's pretty cool stuff. Like, um, not what I was expecting, but it's, it's really interesting. I you think you guys do have a journey if you can see it, you know, otherwise you run the risk of standing still or in an, in a deeper sense, standing still. I mean, uh, socially and stuff, you're very active, um, there's always stuff going on, but like in a deeper sense, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah. I mean, this could be speaking to the Libra air movement and then the Scorpio ups and downs. There's never this like Zen state, you know? Even though you can you can make other people feel that you can't have it for yourself almost. So one of life's many ironies. I think um what's his name? He's in the Jurassic Park. God. What is his name? He's a Libra Scorpio. He was in the the fly. He was just in that Thor Ragnarok movie. Jeff Goldblum. I think Jeff Goldblum is a Libra Scorpio as well. Oh. Okay. But so look at some of his stuff too. You know, um, he. Certainly shows his um his kind of wit and everything. Um, in some of those scenes. Oh, I literally got sick when my neighbor just walked by me. Oof. That's how it feels. Oh my god. Um Anyway, sorry, I've been very low energy for this video, but, um, yeah, so pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm really hoping to have some decorations soon so we can have a nice background for a change and 